traditional chutney recipe that uses a wonderful range of spices and brown sugar to give it a fantastically rich, full flavour. It's also a great chutney to make in advance and mature. It improves with two to three months maturing, so it's a great chutney to make in September so that it can go in the cupboard and be ready in time for Christmas. To start making the chutney, you'll need to peel and core a kilo of Bramley apples. Chop them fairly smallly into roughly one centimetre cubes and place them in a pan, covering them with cider vinegar. Now, cider vinegar is the recipe from my book, Fermented. You can make this for yourself, or if you're going to buy it, choose an organic one. Next, peel and chop onions into quarters. Place them in the food processor with some peeled garlic and peeled chopped root ginger. Add some sultanas to the processor and blitz to form a smooth puree. Once you've made the puree from the onion, garlic and ginger, pour that into the pan and add the spices and the salt. Stir well and allow this to cook for around 20 to 25 minutes until the apples have softened and have broken up. So you'll end up with a fairly uniform texture now. Next, add the brown sugar and stir well. Keep the chutney cooking over a moderate temperature to allow it to gently bubble away. This will allow the flavours to mingle, the chutney to thicken and the water to gradually evaporate. After around 20 to 25 minutes, your chutney should have thickened. You'll notice it's slightly reduced in volume as the water's cooked off and it's thickened nicely. You'll be able to drag a spoon across the surface and it'll form a channel which won't fill up with liquid and that's when you know the chutney's done. Allow the chutney now to cool for five or ten minutes just to take the heat off before transferring it into clean sterilized jars. Seal with a lid and place in the cupboard to mature for at least two months before opening.